This video is sponsored by... No, no, no. This video is not sponsored by Squarespace or Shopify. Instead, this is a complete and honest head-to-head -head comparison of Shopify versus Squarespace. Now for years you've seen ads and I often get questions from our community on which platform they should consider using to launch their e-commerce store. The reality is that both Shopify and Squarespace have the ability to be great platforms for your brand and business. So in this video, we're gonna cover seven things you need to know before choosing Shopify or Squarespace. And at the end, I will give my opinion on which platform is best for your brand and business. So if you're a new visitor to this channel, hit that subscribe button right down below and turn on post notifications to be alerted of our latest video drops. On this channel, we help entrepreneurs build brands that impact the world from the ground up. First off, let's begin by talking about design. Now both platforms have the ability for you to create an elegant looking website. However, one thing Squarespace themes do a phenomenal job at is that they are tailored for creative entrepreneurs. Whether you're a band looking to sell merch or promote your tour, or you're a maker who is making their products by hand, the themes help you tell your story and share the journey while allowing you to sell. It's a great out of the box solution allowing you to focus on marketing and driving loyal customers to your brand. Now when it comes to fashion and boutique brands, Shopify has five free theme options, but also has numerous themes from third party sellers, and you can expect to pay around 140 bucks and up. Although the amount of choices can be overwhelming, so for someone who is just getting started and wants to begin as quickly as possible, Squarespace wins this comparison as you can customize it to your liking quickly and easy and elegant. From the positioning in the market, they are definitely tailoring to creatives by making their brand shine with the layouts they offer. For this reason, web design and functionality goes to Squarespace. Now, the next thing you need to know about both platforms is the transaction fees. In this comparison, we are only going to compare Shopify's entry level price with the cheapest business package that Squarespace has to offer. We will discuss more on plan pricing at the end of the video. But one thing Shopify has up its sleeve is the fact that they have their own payment processor built into the platform. Well, with Squarespace, you will need to integrate Stripe, Square, or PayPal when selling your products on your website. But the thing you need to know is that let's say you go with Shopify and a customer purchases a product from your site. As of the shooting of this video, they will charge you 2.9% plus 30 cents for every online transaction. This means if you guys are buying, somebody buys something for hundred bucks, you're essentially gonna pay $2, like $3 and 20 cents on that transaction. Now, if you go with Squarespace and integrate Stripe as your payment processor, you will actually be paying more since the most popular business package that Squarespace offers charges a 3% fee on top of that transaction. So in order to get around that extra fee, to make it comparable with Shopify, you would actually need to upgrade to the basic e-commerce package, which is more expensive, but more on that later. When we compare both of these plans side by side, both platforms tie. But one thing to keep in mind is that Shopify has the edge since they have built their platform with e-commerce in mind, where Squarespace is just getting into the e-commerce game. Now, one of the most important things to consider when choosing either platform is which one is better to optimize for search engine optimization. Kind of sounds redundant, but this means how likely is your store or product going to be coming up online as a search result when somebody goes to like Google or something. When it comes to all things Google, in order for a site to be SEO friendly, you need to be able to modify and describe as many things as you can on the site. This is where Shopify is king. The ability to add more metadata to the site means that Google and other search engines like Bing or DuckDuckGo can crawl through your site for your products or your services to show up in search. Squarespace currently does have some SEO capabilities, but it's not up to par with Shopify. So if you're looking for the best SEO capabilities, the clear winner here is Shopify. Now, when it comes to managing inventory, with Shopify, you have the ability to manage four to eight different locations where you store your products. So whether you have a warehouse full of items or a storefront open to the public, you can easily manage your inventory across all channels. You have an instant snapshot of the items that are in stock and those that you need to place new orders for. Now, when it comes to Squarespace, in order to have the same level of control that Shopify comes preloaded with, you will have to install a third party plugin, which is an additional cost. So if you're looking for the best way to manage your inventory without having to purchase plugins, Shopify is a clear winner here. Now this leads us into the next big point, which is actually a big deal for online stores, which is plugins and extensions. Whether you're looking to drop ship or add an automated messaging plugin to your site, being able to add plugins to your website is key to growing your empire. Shopify offers over 1200 plugins to their official Shopify app store, whereas Squarespace only offers a handful of plugins that you can use. 
You could also use plugins that are not listed on the Shopify and Squarespace marketplace, but you will have to pay an additional monthly fee and hand over your data to companies that have not been certified by them. So if plugins and extensions are important to you, Shopify is a clear winner here. Now when it comes to shipping, Squarespace does have the ability to connect to a third-party extension, but at an added cost. Where with Shopify, not only do you have the ability to print and ship labels for your products, but you also get a discount of up to 74% off DHL Express, UPS, and USPS. There is no need to create an extra account or sign up for a third-party service. Squarespace does offer rates based on data from USPS, UPS, and FedEx, but is only available in real time through their most expensive advanced e-commerce plan. Also, those rates are not discounted like Shopify has. For this reason, Shopify is a clear winner here. Now finally, let's talk about pricing. You heard me mention a few of the different plans that Shopify and Squarespace offer. So let's begin with Squarespace. Squarespace, as of this video, offers four different plans. All of these plans come with a free 14-day trial. Now, keep in mind, pricing differs if you choose to pay month to month versus paying for the full year up front. In this comparison, we're only gonna be reviewing the monthly plan side by side. We begin with the personal plan. It comes in at $16 per month. This is not recommended for e-commerce applications since there is no ability for you to add products. Rather, it is more for showing your portfolio, photography, or if you're an influencer, to promote your personal brand. If you're looking to do e-commerce but want to save a couple of dollars a month and incur an additional 3% per transaction, then the business plan from Squarespace is for you. But if you want to avoid the added transaction fee and also want more features, the $30 a month basic commerce plan is a better fit. Now, the advanced commerce plan at $46 a month comes with features you will need to get the most out of the platform. So if you want Squarespace to have a similar function that comes with Shopify, you will need to download additional plugins and incur charges from them. Now, for those of you who are looking to start an e-commerce business and have as many features as possible at an affordable price, this is where Shopify has the edge. The basic Shopify package will run you $29 a month and includes everything you need and more. Compared to the $46 advanced package that Squarespace has, this is definitely the better deal. Shopify has their own payment processor with fraud analysis, abandoned cart recovery, and discounted shipping rates, as well as over 1,200 apps that you can download via the Shopify app store. Now, the clear winner between the Shopify versus Squarespace comparison is Shopify. However, if you're a creative that's focusing on a custom line of handmade products, or if you're a photographer, musician, or artist looking to promote additional services and events, then Squarespace is a great platform to build a brand and business. They have a variety of free themes to help get you started on, and they reduce the level of anxiety it may take a creative to launch a store. By minimizing the amount of features to the ones you need where you are right now, Squarespace is a great platform for beginners to get their start on. Now this is not to say that Shopify doesn't have themes that can help creative entrepreneurs accomplish the same. You could definitely find them, but this is where the overwhelming amount of choices can sometimes prevent creatives from actually getting started. Now my biggest concern for those of you who are considering a Squarespace plan versus a Shopify one is that the $26 basic e-commerce plan that Squarespace advertises as their most popular plan is definitely a ripoff. The 3% fee on top of the 2.9% fee is almost 6% you are giving away to people for every transaction. So that means out of every $100 you earn, you're paying somebody $6 that you could have used to buy a more expensive plan. So in summary, Squarespace is a great platform to test the waters of a single product or service offering if you're on a tight budget to establish an online presence. Although there are better options available if you're on a tight budget, so comment down below if we should create a video on how to create an e-commerce store on the low low. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you decide to use any of the platforms we mentioned in this video, if you could please use the links right down below as they'll actually help us produce more content to help you navigate the entrepreneur journey. If you're a new viewer of ours, we welcome you to join the community. The mission of this channel is to bring clarity to the unknown and equip you to act. In return, we only ask that you pay it forward by building a brand that impacts the world. See you on the next one.